Hello, my friends. I love Chicago. I love going to the city of Chicago. And it breaks my heart to see the city in crisis. I don't live in Chicago, but I love visiting the Windy City. But in recent years, the city has been suffering because of the migrant crisis, fueled by Joe Biden's border crisis. There are many legal immigrants who come from various parts of the world and they settle in Chicago. They establish businesses, they find jobs, they buy homes, they raise families, they work hard. But those legal immigrants and American citizens are now suffering because of the border crisis that has resulted in a flood of undocumented immigrants in the city. The government in Chicago, rather than focusing on the needs of the American citizens and legal immigrants, are spending millions and millions of dollars on the undocumented immigrants. That's the current state of Chicago, a city in crisis. My mother and I both wanted to go to Chicago during Christmas. Unfortunately, we could not go because of the foggy and rainy weather around Christmas time. Anyway, in the new year, 2024, we decided to visit Chicago. From Madison, Wisconsin, Chicago is just a few hours away. On the way, we stopped at a cafe, had some food, purchased gas, and overall the drive was nice. Before the COVID pandemic, I remember that the interstate had toll booths that were staffed by people. There was electronic tolling too. I preferred to stop at the toll booths and hand over cash and coins for tolls. Now it has changed. The toll booths are gone. It's electronic tolling. Human interaction is gone. Anyway, the road was nice, open highway. Traffic was okay, not much congestion. Usually when my mother and I are driving out of state, or even when we are traveling long distance within the state, that is the state of Wisconsin where we live, we have the opportunity to talk about many things. We talk about our lives as well as matters of social and political significance. We talk about current issues affecting our nation and the world. Driving from Wisconsin, once we got closer to the city of Chicago, we took an exit from the highway and stopped at a gas station. And then, back into the car and on our way to Devon Avenue. Devon, is a, Devon Avenue is a pretty popular place among people from various countries. There are many ethnic grocery stores and restaurants. We went to a nice restaurant. The food was great, and so was the service. My mother and I had chicken biryani, butter naan, and a mixed platter that included lamb chops, sheikh kebab, tandoori chicken, and more. Mom and son, we had a nice time. The meal was great. After that, we got back in the car, stopped at another store to buy a few things, and then slowly we drove back towards Wisconsin. I find nighttime driving to be very relaxing. You can turn on some music and relax. We didn't go as far as the Michigan Avenue area in downtown Chicago. We didn't go and check out the tall buildings and the skyscrapers. I thought about going, but we decided not to. There really was no reason to visit the downtown area during this trip. Chicago is a great city facing tremendous crisis. It's a wonderful city, but as I said, it breaks my heart to see the crisis in the city and the pain and suffering that the people of Chicago are going through because of all the crime and all the other economic challenges that the city continues to face. I hope and pray, my friends, that the people of Chicago will elect bold and strong and honest leaders who will, re who will restore fiscal responsibility and law and order in the city of Chicago. It was a nice trip to Chicago. My mother and I had a nice time together, and I hope that the city will have bright days ahead. The city needs good leadership, and I hope that the people of Chicago will make the right decision 
in future elections. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for staying connected. Please subscribe, and I'll be back again with more videos. Thank you.